just a quick video here my problem with a heliocentric model is simply mercury and venus you have earth mercury and venus is on the same plane as earth as the rest of the other planets in the solar system that means it's like mercury's a penny or mercury's a dime uh, venus is a penny and say earth is a nickel they're all in flat on the table they're on the same on, on the same plane so my deal is it would you're just a little speck and at night time you can never see venus or mercury it's, it's impossible they're on the inside of us between us and the sun you have mercury venus and earth um I, you know you're just a little speck on the earth at night on this big old ball there's no way you can see it but I tell you what, I'll give you, I'll just say you can see Venus, but you'll never be able to see Mercury. Let's just say you can see Venus. I know you can't, but I'll just say you can, because somebody said, well, look, get that out further enough on the, on the orbit that you could. No, it's, it's not, but you can have Venus, but you can't see Mercury. Cannot be done. So what should have happened, they should have put Earth first, then Mercury and Venus, or Venus and Mercury. Don't matter. They didn't do that, it wasn't thinking. So right there tells you that model is wrong. At least those two planets are wrong. If you want to call them planets, they're wrong, regardless of what anybody says. That will not work. It, it can't. It can't work. There's just no way to see it at night. So, you know, if they want to come back and say Earth is the first planet, then Mercury, then Venus, big deal. Okay, that looks a lot better. But if they lie to you about the Mercury and Venus, they'll probably lie to you about the rest of it. So anyway, just a little thing I thought I'd point out. And thank you for listening. Thank mm -hmm. you.